Our uh, offering this morning is for Prison Fellowship Canada, and uh, this is a fantastic ministry. They do a variety of uh, wonderful things, obviously, with regards to uh, prison ministry, including visiting those who are in prison, uh, providing some chaplaincy services, but also uh, helping those who are transitioning out of prison uh, into uh, the rest of the world. Uh, if you would like to learn more about Prison Fellowship uh, Canada, they, you can talk to Alex there. Alex, just wave your hand for a second. Alex uh, knows all about it. You're still volunteering for them, right? Yeah, so a lot of things have been restricted and so on because of COVID. But that being said, Alex is still a great guy to talk about that. I mean, he's just a great guy in, in you know, just in general, but also to talk particularly about that as well. Uh, it is a wonderful ministry for us to be able to support. Also, um, in terms of congregational prayer, uh, I would encourage you to pray for, and we extend our uh, condolences to Jean. Um, her mother, Teresa Hamsma, uh, passed away just this uh, past Thursday night. And so uh, please be in prayer for, for Jean, of course, and for uh, the rest of the family as well as they grieve uh, their mother's passing. Uh, also, we want to give some praise for uh, Pete's brother-in-law, uh, Mike. His, uh, his pneumonia is getting better, and uh, his, he had some confusion, they think, related to the pneumonia, uh, but he is able to continue now with his uh, cancer treatments, and so we praise God for that as well. Also, um, we, we are going to pray this morning for uh, Fredericton CRC and Pastor Dan Hoagland. Uh, every week in the bulletin, you notice that there's a class of Eastern Canada uh, prayer list, and I am trying to incorporate that more uh, in our congregational prayer. Uh, but it's also kind of nice because Dan Hoagland was uh, one of my dorm mates in, in university at Trinity Western University many, many moons ago. And so we will pray for them this morning as well. So let us come before the Lord our God in congregational Father in heaven, we thank you so much again for drawing us together this morning. We thank you so much that we can worship you by hearing the scriptures and by seeing one another and by praising you with songs and by praying to you, talking with you and laying before you the various things that are on our hearts, O oh God. This morning, we all come here with different uh, different things going through our heads, different worries, different joys, different sorrows. All of these things come with us as we enter these doors. And yet, O oh God, we pray that we may lay them all before You, O oh God. That we may lay our worries and sorrows and our joys and triumphs before You. Lord, please, be our guide. And Lord, may Your Spirit fill us to overflowing. Father, as we come to Your Scriptures in the sermon in a few moments, we pray that You would, through Your Holy Spirit, open our hearts and minds that we would hear what You would have us hear. That the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart would be pleasing in your sight, O oh God. We pray as well very much for Jean's family and for Jean herself as they mourn the passing of Jean's mother, Teresa. We pray for comfort for them. And we thank you, O oh God, that Teresa was not in any way a stranger to you, but that she knew and loved her Savior, who loved her first. We pray as well for Pete's brother-in-law, Mike. We thank you so much that his pneumonia is getting better and that he is able to proceed with cancer treatments. 
Lord, we pray that You will strengthen him and be with the whole family that they too may be strengthened and encouraged. Lord, we praise You as well that Lita is doing quite a bit better in terms of her health. We pray that you will continue to strengthen and heal her as well. Lord, not only that, but we praise you and we ask that you would continue to support and strengthen those in our congregation, those others in our congregation who are struggling in any way, O oh God. Whether they are struggling with health concerns or whether they are struggling with loneliness, whether they are struggling with sorrow and grief, whether they are struggling with chronic illness, or new onset of disease. Lord, we pray that You will strengthen all of those who are struggling. Father, we pray too for Prison Fellowship Canada. We thank You for this ministry that seeks to reach out to those who are in prison or who are just coming out of prison. Lord, we pray that, that COVID restrictions would be eased very soon and that they would be able to get back into prisons and to be able to minister to those who are incarcerated or coming out of that. Father, we thank You for their many years of faithful ministry. We ask that these, our tithes and offerings, would be pleasing in Your sight. Lord, we ask all of these things and we pray very much for our world as well. We ask that You would be with our government leaders and with those who are protesting. Lord, we, we thank You that we do indeed live in a country where it is possible and, and where it, it is something that we can do to share our concerns, sometimes through protest. And Lord, we thank You also for our government leaders. Regardless, O oh God, of whether we agree with them in any particular instance, we do recognize that they have been appointed by You. And we pray a blessing upon them. Draw them all closer to You. Draw us all as Canadians closer to You. And Lord, we pray, not only for us to be drawn closer to You, but we pray also for all the peoples of this world. We pray in particular for mounting tensions in the Ukraine and in Europe. We ask that peace would prevail and wisdom. And Lord, though we may not claim to know exactly what ought to be done by whom, we pray and we trust and we know that You know. And so, Lord, we lay that situation in Your hands as well. We pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.